Now, the deadly collapse in Florida has led to the mayor of Jersey City to consider increased safety measures for a city's high-rise buildings. CBS 2's Corey James spoke with residents who still feel their safety is at risk. I found that it was targeting more um, the upper wealthy classes of the city. The Jersey City resident is talking about Mayor Stephen Phillips' new proposal to re-examine building inspection policies for high-rises after the tragic and deadly apartment collapse in Miami. The initiative, according to the city, would ensure buildings are adequately maintained and structurally sound. My building is four stories, so it would not be covered by that ordinance. And that is a problem for this tenant. She showed us these pictures of her building that point out what she believes illustrates structural deterioration. The building is settling, and as a result, you're seeing cracks in the walls. But if the city council approves the current proposal, this resident's building could be overlooked. Right now, the suggested enhanced mandates would require structural inspections by a licensed engineer every 10 years on concrete buildings with more than six stories. Facade inspections would happen every five years on buildings with more than six stories or buildings with masonry facades that have at least four stories. The proposal, I, I feel, is very disappointing. Rodolfo Santos is with Jersey City Tenants United, a tenant advocacy group. He believes what the city is proposing shines light on a larger issue. And unfortunately, it's going to be the historically disenfranchised that suffer the worst. Brenna Thompson agrees. She tells us she recently moved to Massachusetts and out of her Jersey City five story building that she felt was not structurally sound. It's kind of insulting because it's like, oh, we want to help Jersey City, but. You don't care about the people who don't live in the expensive apartments or the nice apartments. Amber reached out to Jersey City officials for comment, but we're told no one was available for an interview this evening. Our request for a statement in response to concerns some residents brought up was not returned. In Jersey City, Corey James, CBS 2 News.